Hi, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is Andrew. It's Sunday, April, uh, excuse me, May 1st, 2016. I, my thoughts are still on April, but I want to do a quick warning video that tomorrow could poss possibly be Black Monday in the markets, that we could see a huge collapse uh, in during trading as of tomorrow or perhaps overnight sessions. Now, I have right in front of me the S&P mini uh, chart. And you have to excuse me. I did just come out of a 12-hour shift, so I might not be all that there in, in terms of my uh, speech tonight. So I, I do apologize for that. It's been a long day. But anyways, uh, my communication isn't what's important here. It's the information. And the information is looking pretty ugly. Again, S&P E-minis, you're looking at a big uh, a, a big resistance level, about 2106. And this was this is a weekly chart. This was a, this was the week before last week. This was last week's or this week's going going in, and this is right here going into Monday. Now, why am I showing you this chart? Well, it's because, and I'm going to dovetail this with some news later on, but it's because many people have been predicting that we're, from an Elliott Wave theory perspective, that we're going to see a third wave down, which is the most powerful wave down, more powerful than the first and second wave, always more powerful than those moves in the markets and it looks like here we could possibly be seeing the start of this move happening unless sometime tomorrow they do announce qe or perhaps zero interest rates but of course if they do announce any of that stuff it is a vote of confidence not excuse me not a vote of confidence it's it's a vote Basically saying that the Federal Reserve is is hinting that uh, the economy is not where they want it to be, so to speak. So just look at the markets right here. And keep an eye on what this week has in, st in store for us. I'm going to go ahead and check out some news. And this is really the main reason why I think tomorrow could be a Black Monday. Uh, let me go ahead and pull it up. This is right out of Puerto Rico. The news article is out of ZeroHedge.com, but this is really incredibly important what's going on in Puerto Rico tomorrow because uh, they could actually default on their debt. And this is, as I said before, this is mainly the reason why I think tomorrow could be Black Monday. Puerto Rico governor says won't pay debt tomorrow. Puerto Rico governor says Ireland won't pay debt Monday. Puerto Rico governor government signed a moratorium bill yesterday, and Puerto Rico needs a deal with creditors and or Congress. Thank you, Garcia. And, of course, you can read the headline right up here, which this basically down here says it all as far as what the headline is saying. So I, I'm going to go ahead and link this down below and uh, let you let everybody who's watching this video get a chance to read it. Uh, some other news that's coming up, uh, Schwab, uh, some of the trading firms are already starting to get ready for zero interest rate policies. And let's go ahead, let's go, let's scroll down. You see this article here out of Schwab. Of course, this is still zero hedge. Schwab is forcing cash out of money market funds and into treasuries. Now, this is, again, I don't claim to be an economist, but when it comes to interest rate policies, what happens is the banks are taxed by keeping your money in, in their vaults, so to speak. So let's just say that you had $100,000 in the bank, and the negative interest is like negative 0 0.1 or or whatever it is. Let's just say it's 10%, negative 10%. That's a bit extreme, but 
just bear with me here. You have $100,000 in the bank. Now, what's going to happen is, is you're going to have a certain period of time that you're going to, where you're going to need to withdraw that money and spend it on something or hide it underneath your mattress. Because what will happen is the longer you keep the $100,000 in your bank, the more the bank, because of negative interest rates, it's going to chip away at your savings. So let's say this is, of course, the month of May. And you have $100,000 in the bank. Well, by this time next month, you know, you may only have $90,000. And by this time, two months from now, you may only have $80,000. So keep in mind, when you start reading articles like this uh, about, you know, not just, I mean, of course, this is just a, a brokerage company right here. But you'll start seeing headlines like this coming out of banks, you know, like uh, Bank of America, you know, whoever, you know, uh, Citigroup, J.P. Morgan. That's the reasoning for getting rid of cash or the argument for getting rid of cash, because they can't have negative interest rates if there's still physical cash out in the marketplace. And cash is essentially digital anyways. So why not get into Bitcoin? <laughs> All right, I, that's a bit of a shameless plug there. I apologize, but really the whole point is is to warn you that there could possibly be a black money. That's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, so make sure that you tighten up. If you're trading, tighten up those stops. Make sure that you're keeping a close eye on the charts. Make sure, e even if you're not a trader and you're just a bystander watching this video, look, make sure you pay very close attention to the activities of the banks in lieu to, of the pending Puerto Rican default because Puerto Rico, their debt is the three times, if I can remember correctly, it's three times larger than greek debt and greek the greek government the greek government had to close the banks for you know, a certain period i forget how long it was but it was about a week or two weeks where they actually had to close the banks down so it may not just be a black monday but it could also we could by the end of next week we could also see a bank holiday depending on how this puerto rican debt default place itself out i appreciate everybody watching thank take care please spread this video around share it like it please comment i, I definitely appreciate some feedback i and you know with what i'm doing i'm doing something or what i'm what i've been doing as of late again that's the 12 hour stock here right there i can't really spit it out so so to speak but anyways it, tell let me know if you like what i'm doing you know, let, let me look, know if you like this format better than the format I had before. Because I can tell you one thing, that I, I actually feel much more comfortable doing what I'm doing now. As opposed to just, uh, you know, playing around with my iPhone. Trying to, you know, get the right lighting and, and all the other stuff. So I appreciate everybody. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow.